Well, hello there and welcome back, you lovely lot. A nice, big, warm welcome to anybody new tuning in today. Today we have a variation on the milk bath nail design. I uh, had a bit of a brainwave and I thought I would share it with you. So I'm doing a wash of Moon White from Moira. We're using all Moira acrylics today. And then I come in with three beads of the purple shade that we'll be using today. So it's Festival, Challenging and Forever. And what I would do is take my brush and go up, down, up. Originally, I was going to incorporate that Moon White um, in the marble design, but I changed my mind. So I do exactly the same again. I come in with those three purple shades. And I go up, down, up, and I fill that nail all the way to the top. I've already got a little bit on the end, so I kind of make it fit. And then what I will do is come in with a fine purple glitter called Crocus from the Glitter Fairy. And I will put uh, three lines of that, one at the top, middle and bottom, in the way, in the direction rather, of the marble. So this design, I knew what I wanted to do. I knew it was milk bath and I knew that I wanted to do it in a colour block style. But the rest of it, I, I didn't have a clue. So uh, I kind of winged it with the others. And uh, I just knew I was going to put the milk bath in blocks across the three main nails. But the rest of it, I kind of just winged it. So I cover in with that Moira shade and I do the pointer finger at a diagonal. Now these are very pigmented. So... I didn't pick up like a large bead um, in this colour because it there wasn't enough to build a wall and I didn't want to waste, to be honest, I didn't want to waste the beautiful pigmented shade. So I thought what I'll do is I will put it down where I want it, get a rough idea where I want the line. So I do it on all three nails and then what I'll do is I will clear cap it and build my wall and structure with that clear. So that's what I did. So the middle finger, I'm going to come halfway down and then I will block that off. And I come in on the little finger and this is going to be a glitter fade. So I put that Moira shade down at the bottom. And then I come in at the top with um, Glitter Arty Holographic Hexes. Oh no, they're not. It's Holographic Squares. It's Holographic Squares in purple. And I absolutely love this like collection and she does about six or seven different shades in in the holographic squares and they are awesome so i got a few shades in that actually i think i got about three or four so i thought the purple would go lovely with this so i have it fading down the bottom then coming all the way up to that tip So I'll leave that to set and then come on to the ring finger where I will do a third of this nail and then I will block that off in the colour block style. So a panel will go across the middle of this finger. So I'll just bring that colour down, square it off and then just make sure everything else is okay. Now here's where I come in with the clear. Clear is Moira and that's called Excellence. 
and I do this to all those three nails. So here I will ensure that it is tucked around the cuticle area. And it's big enough for that wall. I wasn't concentrating here. One of the dogs was barking its head off. Absolutely going crazy. <laughs> Look down and I've clear clap light off the flipping nail so I had to swipe that away. <laughs> Puppies aren't they great, eh? Uh, it's been absolutely throwing it down today. I mean, literally, it hasn't stopped to rain, as my dad would say. We've had a couple of nice days and it has just hammered it down. So, uh, the little girl's barking at me, bless her, to tell me that she wants to go out. And she doesn't just, you know, give me one or two little barks. She's yapping her head off. I think she must have heard something or there was a bird in the garden that usually sets her off as, as well. But she'd usually go running outside to chase them off. She's only little. You know, she's six foot and bulletproof. <laughs> she thinks she is. Anyway, so, yes, I am capping all these three in excellent, which is the clear acrylic from Moira. Making sure that's nice, flat, sides are in, that wall's straight. Got my apex in there, a little bit more there, just for that apex and then just pull that down and Okay, so I'm coming in with my metal board file. It's a new 180. And I will sharpen up all those edges on all three nails when they have set. So what I do here is I push the file against the acrylic. Not down, but against. Then I brush all that away. Make sure there's no dust. And now uh, this is my palette with all my little dried flowers on. I've got variation in there. So I will come in with Moon White from Moira, which is a very soft, milky white. And that's going to be my base. So I'll put a small, thin layer of that down. And then I push these dry flowers into that acrylic because it's going to be a block of milk bath I, I try and keep that edge straight try and keep it all behind that line sort of thing then I come in with a little bit of crocus which is that glitter and I just put a tiny teeny tiny tiny bead on the end of my brush, put it where I think it might catch the light a little bit. Then I'm coming in with mil uh, moon, moon white, and then it said moon bath, moon white, and I will then trail that through the dried flowers, and I do exactly the same on all three nails.
So once I'm happy with that and they have set, the flowers have set in that milky bath, I will then clear cap the block section of all three nails. So I use that excellent, which is the clear in Moira. And I cap all three nails just over the dried flower section. So I'll make sure that's uh, fully encapsulated and I've got my lines there. Then I'm coming in with Glitter Bell's 180 new file, just exactly the same as before. And I will file in that wall on both these nails. Once I've done that, I will then come in with the last section of the colour block on both the ring finger and the pointer finger. So I'll finish that off with those beautiful Moira shades and then I will also cap that in clear and I believe I go in there with a little bit of uh, glitter as well, just, just can't help myself. I like it all to be nice and sparkly. So again, I will double check it all. I will then cap in clear and file. I will then come in with acetone, which I do on all my sets. And I will quickly wipe over, get rid of all that dust and smooth that acrylic. Just making sure there's no dust on it. And then I'm gonna come in with this striping tape. Now you've seen me use this before. Now I come in with the gold and it goes in all different thick on a piece of card I got them from Aliexpress and you cut off what you want and I will then place that across the block section snip it all off on the edge I go just a little bit shorter and I do that on all three nails Now what I also do, and it doesn't matter whether it's striping tape or chrome or decals, you've seen me do it before, but before I top coat, I will very gently go over the uh, free edge of the sides of those stiletto shapes and I will file that and make sure that there is nothing to stop the top coat from bonding with that acrylic and sealing everything in. So this is me doing it now. I'm just checking that there's nothing on the sides. I do that on all three nails and then we come in for the top coat. This is where everything all comes to life. All that hard work for the last couple of hours pays off. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? 
really really pretty I really enjoyed this set I think it looks gorgeous I very nearly did it in pink but I'm so glad that I went for purple and you can see that milk bath in the block sections of those three nails and I've put a variation of flowers in there as well so they're not all the same and then we've got those beautiful squares in purple and if they catch the light they look pink don't they oh, stunning really really nice so like always I wipe off all this excess so that you don't lose that shape I just check that make sure I'm perfectly happy with it look at that isn't that gorgeous so pretty Right then guys, this is the end of the video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you would. So until next time, thank you for tuning in today guys. Bye!